Hi YouTube, it's your girl Soltis. So I'm coming to you guys to do um, the Ghana tag questions. I'm so excited. Um, I just saw this on um, YouTube, so I decided to go ahead and do it. And also because I'm from Ghana, so let's get to it. Um, first question is, when was the last time you were in Ghana? Oof, I don't know, 98? I came here in 98. I haven't been back since, so... I'm still, I'm, I'm yet to go, but I'm planning it, so I'll let you guys know. Um, what part of Ghana are you from? I was born in, I was born in Accra, in ABC, but I also lived in Mile 7, Tabora, um, yeah, but my family's from Agogo originally. Um, do you have a Ghana name and what does it mean? Um, yeah, my name is Sewa. I don't know the meaning of it. They also call me Ama. Ama means Saturday born female. Um, do you speak your language? Of course I speak my language. I speak Chi. Um, I speak it really well. Some people are sometimes surprised. I also speak a little pigeon. Um, oh, that's the next question. Do you speak pigeon? Of course I speak pigeon English. It's like... The new thing, every every youth speaks it now, so yeah I do. Um, what is your favorite Ghana food? My favorite Ghana food is like the really village type foods like like the bordier, the plantain with the um with the spinach stew, the old I call it old timers, you know when you get the the pepper and you add spinach and peanuts to it and then you put some oil on top of it. That type of food is what I like. I also like um, kinky a lot with pepper and fish. I like just fish with pepper in general. Like, I'll just eat it with nothing. So, yeah, I like that too. What around your house represents your culture? Um, We don't really have anything here that represents our culture. I think we just in general represent it because we either, you know, we, sh we show where we're from by our language, by the clothing that we wear at times. We just rep our country, me and my family, that is. Um, what would you like to do in Ghana to help out? Oh, I want to build um, homeless shelters, orphan houses, um, help the needy, go to the villages, get the kids, you know, back in school, education. Um, I want money so I can give it to them. I don't want money, you know, to take care of myself. I just really want to help them out. So that's why I want money. Um, what is a ridiculous question you were asked about your culture? Oh my gosh. I was asked, do we have mud houses? Or, um, do I, you know, do I have any animal like pets? like tigers and stuff. No, I don't have any tigers. I've never seen a tiger before in my whole life. And we do not have mud houses. I lived in a brick house with paint and all that good stuff. With lights. I, I don't know about mud houses. I don't know where people watch those type of videos to get that kind of ignorance from. And I don't really want to be too upset at them because they're just seeing what they see. But I'm kind of upset at the American culture because they don't try to educate them accurately on other, you know, countries. They go and then they, they videotape, you know, the bad parts and then they come and tell them about it. This is what Africa represents. Africa represents so much more. It's so westernized now, you know, that you have to... You have to go there or you have to do your own research, go on the actual websites of like actual Ghanaian websites to find out about the culture. Don't go by what um, National Geographic is putting in their magazines or whatever. They're not going to go take the, the good parts. Come on now. So, yeah, those are the questions for the Ghana tag. Um, so I will tag anybody that's Ghanaian. I want to see other people do it. I think it's interesting. And I rep Ghana, Ghana for life, guys. Love Ghana.